Hi guys, and welcome back to our Changing Landforms unit. We are on chapter two, lesson two, um, and we are going to be doing activities one through three today. Um, and we're gonna be specifically looking at modeling landform changes. Okay, so in the last lesson, we talked about what might cause a landform to change. Um, and we looked at a couple different examples of the beach. We looked at the arch and we also looked at the valley. Um, so what are some of the ideas that we have talked about? So I want you to pause the video and you can either just talk to somebody at home or quickly think about um, what are some of the things that we talked about for making landforms change. Um, so kind of me going back and thinking, I know specifically that a couple of the things that we talked about was that all landforms are made of rock somehow. We know that rock can change, and we knew that water played some sort of a part in all of these landforms, which made me think at least that water had something to do with the changes of each of these landforms. So one idea that we'll investigate further is water. We have some ideas that water can change landforms based on the pictures of the beach, arch, and valley that we observed. However, these landforms seem very stable, which means that um, they seem like they're hard to change, and that makes it hard for us to visualize water actually changing them over time. So in your packets, you have a copy of this chart, um, and on this chart, we're going to be recording ideas that we have about what water can do to a landform already. So I'm going to have you guys pause the video and just quickly in your packet, write down any ideas that you have about what you already know about water and how it can change a landform. Um, if you do not have this packet available, you can just take a second to talk to somebody at home or think about in your head what are some things you already know. Okay, so then the next thing that we're going to do is we're also going to be thinking about questions that we have what, um, about how water can change a landform or even just things that you're wondering about the process of water changing a landform. So again, you can go ahead and pause the video and write any of your questions or thoughts down in this column of your chart. And then if you do not have this available, same thing, you can talk to somebody at home or just think about some ideas in your head really quick. Okay, so now we're gonna be thinking about how we can actually visualize this process happening. So what could we do here in our classroom or over video in my room? to investigate how water might change a landform. So I want you to brainstorm a couple of different ideas of how we could model this on a smaller scale. So you, again, can pause the video and just jot some of your ideas down in your packet, talk to somebody at home, or think about in your head, how can we show this process happening? Since we cannot bring a landform such as a cliff into a classroom or into a room, and observe if water changes it, we will create a model to help us visualize water changing a landform. So remember that a model is something scientists make to answer questions about the real world. So we're gonna put on an object to model, or sorry, not put on, but we're going to put water on an object to model what happens when the water hits a landform. So today, the object that we have is flour. Um, so Baking flour is obviously not super solid like a cliff or um, like a valley, but you'll still kind of get the idea that water can change something. So we're going to be using flour and water today to show how water can change things. And then in this model, the object will represent the landform. So the flour will be our landform like a cliff or a large rock. We're going to observe the model and record what happens when we spray water on it. So we're gonna be thinking about what the object looked like before we add water and then what it looks like after we added the water. Um, you will be able to record this in your packet. There's a space for you, but if you do not have a packet, you can also just write down what you notice on any scratch piece of paper or after I show the model, you can go ahead and just talk to somebody or think about what you notice changing. So. I'm actually going to have you pause this video and then you will go on to the YouTube video for the actual model. Um, and then we'll come back and discuss what we saw. 